welcome to Create Full Art. Today I would love to show you how to paint a beautiful sunset reflecting on the water in the city. And we're going to relax while we paint this. If you're enjoying my videos and you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you're notified whenever I make a video. And also it will help support the creation of more videos like this one. This is a great opportunity to relax and get creative, so let's begin. So let's start with the colors we're going to be using in this painting. If you are a Create Full Art member, this is a great time to get your handout out that will help you mix all the colors for this month. If you're not a member yet, now is a great time to sign up and you get bonus content to help you paint along with me. And you get weekly art lessons to help you become a better artist. Grab the primary colors that you have. They include a magenta, a cyan blue, and a yellow. I have listed the ones that I'm using in the description. You will also want to have a white and a black. The first color you don't have to mix, it's your pure magenta. You can always lighten it with white if you need to. The vivid orange color is created with your magenta and your yellow. Keep adding the yellow until you've reached your desired orange color. This dull light yellow is created with the primary yellow and your white and a tiny bit of the orange. And while we paint, we can add more white to it when we want to. This beautiful aqua green color is made with yellow and brilliant blue and then adding white to lighten it. Just adjust those three colors until it's the color you want. The sky blue color is very easy to make. It's just your white and your brilliant blue. We will add as much white as we want to it in our painting. The pretty lilac purple is made with our brilliant blue and magenta. That will make a darker purple, so we will lighten it up with white. Adjust those three colors until it's the purple you want, and don't worry about it being the exact same color as mine. The dark blue is just your dark blue with black mixed with it. Your dark green is made with the dark blue, your primary yellow, and black. We will be adding more black to it when we want it dark, and yellow to it when we want this color lighter. Now our palette's all ready to go and we can start painting. And if you want to keep these colors fresh for this whole month, get the Stay Wet palette. And I have put a link in the description below. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my half inch wide brush and I'm going to mix my white with a bright yellow. I'm going to put it about two inches down in the middle area and I'm going to go side to side and then I'm going to go above that line and put some yellow going down. Now I'm going to add a little bit of yellow underneath that line and then I'm going to keep going down with some marks. And if you want your paints to be a little bit more transparent, grab a little bit of water and pull it down. Now I'm grabbing that secondary yellow, that mix that I've created. Notice it's dull. It's more dull than that other color. And I'm going to go between that yellow. And just notice where I'm placing my colors. You don't have to place them exactly the same as me. So I'm going to take off just a little bit of this paint to make it a little brighter. So the more paint that I have, the darker it's going to be. And the less paint is going to show the white underneath, so it's going to lighten it up. So I'm adding just the yellow, concentrating on the yellow and creating some marks, going side to side and down. Now I'm grabbing my orange. This is a very bright color and I'm going to go right underneath that yellow that I made the side to side mark and I'm scribbling side to side underneath it. So if I don't want it to be transparent, I have to add more of that color. I'm, I need to make it a thicker application. Notice how I'm going around that very yellow color. So I mixed that orange with the yellow and now I'm putting the mix down right next to the yellow. You can get the reference photo to help you know where to place all of the colors. Now with your blue, we're gonna create the horizon line and I'm creating this horizon line right underneath the sunset up to that yellow line that I made underneath the sunset. Notice how I'm going across and then I'll pull down. This is just the first layer. Don't worry if it doesn't look that great right now. Dip into my purple here and add that to the blue. 
I'm going to take off a little bit more of that blue and add more purple. And then I'm pulling lines across just like I did with the blue. So I'm getting some streaks in the ocean water with the purple. So I grabbed a lot of purple now. I'll bring that color down a little bit. But now I'm going to go into my magenta here and create some streaks. So some of them are going to be by the blue and then I'm going to go right into that purple and make a darker purple. So if I want to lighten the color, I just have to take a little bit of it off. And that's what I want to do. So now I have the darker blue and I'm going to go right where the purple is and pull down, dragging some of that purple down with me. And I'm going to put some green there and blend that green right up next to that yellow. So I'm grabbing my dark blue and I'm going to pull down. And I still have that bl light blue, that lighter blue on my brush. So it'll have some of that in there. And when I need to have it darker, I just grab more of it. And I'm going to take this color right up against that yellow. So now I'm going to wash out my brush and wipe it off on my paper towel and grab my green. Just a little bit on my brush. And I want it to be a little bit transparent. So I've just put a little bit on my brush and I had some water on my brush. And now I have some magenta on there. I'm just pulling this lighter color to the darker blue color. Now I'm going to grab my green and pull it down into that dark blue color. Right underneath the orange. Now I'm going to grab some white and I'm going to put that next to the green to lighten that area. Notice how it really brightens it up. Grab some white and mix it with my orange to get a soft orange. And I'm going to add more of that orange color. And I want it to mix a little bit with that green, but not overdoing it because it will turn brown. And then I'm going to add some streaks of that orange going into the blue. So I'd like you to notice the brush strokes and where I'm going up and down and then where I'm going side to side. So now I'm going to grab some more of that light orange and go up and down with my brush strokes and then carry some white over to lighten it right underneath the sunset and then some going side to side to pull that color into some waves. And that's why I'm using these side to side and up and down brush strokes because I want it to look like it's water. So now we have the first layer of our ocean done and you can make any changes you want at this point to the layer. Now I'm going to grab my magenta and my purple and make this nice warm purple and start adding it to my sky. So I'm going to concentrate on getting purple shapes near the yellow. And I'm going to make more of a lavender next to that color that I just made. So now I've taken the magenta and added it with the orange to get this nice fuchsia color. And I'm going to add that right over here on the bottom right. So I'm just kind of piecing this sunset together. And that pure magenta is going to go right next to that orange and next to that fuchsia color that I made. And then I grab the orange and I'm going to put it into that magenta and right below it. I'm doing a little bit of mixing with the magenta. Now I've added water to my brush so that you can see the white of the canvas underneath it and it's a lighter pink. And now I'm going to add lavender right up to that nice light pink. So I'm going to grab the sky color and just put a piece of that sky color right over there in the, the right side. And it can be any shape, I just want it to have a shape. But I am going to pull down just a little bit. Notice how the blue goes on top of the pink when I do that. I'm going to see what color the lavender and the dark blue make. And then put that over here on the left top side of my sunset. It's more of a gray tone, which is nice to have in the sky. So I'm going to pull that across and then I'm going to go right up against that yellow in the sky. Now I'm going to make sure my brush is really dry and I'm going to try to blend that a little bit better. And in some areas it's going to take it all off, but it will leave just a little bit of residue behind. And I can always add more wherever I want it. But I also want to add some green next to the yellow. 
So it kind of matches a little bit of what's going down in the ocean. Put some orange right there and wipe off my brush and add a little bit of that magenta mix with the light purple next to it. So I've got a little bit of the magenta on my brush and I'm going to mix that magenta right up next to that orange and then add a little bit of the orange right on top of that. I'm going to grab some white and create a softer orange and then I'm going to go right underneath this orange with that peach color and right above it just with a little bit of it and it softens it. And I'm going to soften on the right side too right next to that orange and add that above the yellow. It's just a little bit too dark. Now I've got my blue and I'm going to go right above that peach that I just added with the blue color of the sky. I'm going to add some purple on this left top side and right now I'm just being very creative. You can be creative too. Most of the time the purple or the dark clouds are on the outside and I'm going to add some peach in there. Blend it in there and see if I like that. So this is a lot of playing around. Maybe I want some darker blue. I actually really like the darker blue, so I'm going to grab more of the darker blue. And I'm going to go over some of this lavender that I've added. And go up next to that yellow and see how it brightens that up. I really like that. And then I add a piece or a, a shape in here and I'm going to go right up against this orange and then pull over to the left side. And I really like how that looks so I'm going to add a little bit of that dark blue over here next to the purple. Grab some magenta, put it next to that blue and see if I like that. I'll add some purple on the corners of this blue. Go into this peach color and fill in right next to that blue with that peach. Okay, so we have most of our sky filled in. I'm going to grab some of the white and brighten up my sky just a little bit, my sun area. So I'm taking my round brush and I'm just taking that white and going over the yellow and you, you should see the yellow behind it. It's not going to be completely white. Now I want to add some of that white into the water where it would reflect off the water. Now I'm going to work on the city right underneath my sunset. You could paint a city skyline with me, any skyline that you wish, or you could paint mountains, trees, whatever you want to do. Be creative and express yourself. It's very simple to paint something in the distance. All you have to do is look at the basic shapes and that's it. Because it's a silhouette, you can just use the dark blue that's the darkest color that we have on this palette and that will create the silhouette. You can also add a few colors over the top if you wish, but only if you wish. If you're not sure what you want to do or you just really like my painting, you can get the reference photo to help you paint right along and you also get access to the full tutorial that will show you every one of my brush strokes. You get access to this bonus content when you become a Create Full Art member. So now we're going to paint the boats that are in the left corner. So I have my flat brush and I'm going to be using my dark blue and I'm going to take a line across right here, almost in the middle here, and then go up. Now I'm twisting my brush and going vertically with a line. So I want another canoe or boat or whatever this is right next to that one. So I'm going to create another line and have a similar shape. This time I'm grabbing my detail brush to make the point go up because it wasn't up enough. And then I'll create another line next to the other one going down. I want the first line to be thicker so I'm going to go over that line and a little bit taller. Now I'm going to grab my flat brush again same color, that dark blue, and go right underneath that line. So it's thicker right there on the left. Now I'm going to create the shadow. So I'm right underneath that, just going to create some a dark line and pull the dark color down. 
I want the shape of my boats to be a little bit more crisp, so I grabbed my detail brush and I'm just going to crisp up these lines here. But I'm going to go right underneath that other canoe, make it thicker, right, right there where it would be thicker. So now I'm creating another line. This is the pole that these boats are tied to, so I need several of these poles, and I'm going to go down with this line. I'm creating variety here, so I have three poles so far. Well, four. I have that little tiny one. And one of them's in that light, so it's there's a lot of strong contrast. I'm going to put another pole right next to it, creating variety here. The orange that's now on my brush, I'm going to create another pole, is going to also add variety. I'm going to go right next to that other pole. So now I'm going to create another line right over the yellow tops. And I'm not worrying about the line at the very bottom, because that's just going to dissipate. So notice how all these lines are varied in um, where I'm placing them. So some are going to be higher and then some are going to be lower. So I'm just going to drag that color down. And then I can always go over that color at some point, but I don't want to mess too much with that yellow. So now I'm going to grab my flat brush again with the dark blue on it, and I'm going to create some more boats. So I want to have gaps between my boats, and I want them to reach out into the center here. So I'm just deciding where to place them. I want the points to go past the poles. I don't want any of the tips to stop at the poles because then you can't really understand the shape and figure out what the shape is. So I fill in the areas that would be dark blue, which is most of the area on the left, really. And so now you're getting this dark left side, which is what I want. I'm just going to pull that color down. And to make them look like canoes, I want to add a little bit more detail to them. So I'm going to grab my light blue here. And I'm going to put that color just right in the canoe where there would be some of the light shining on the canoe. So notice where I'm placing this. Use the reference photo to help you. Because it's kind of hard to explain where I'm putting this, but notice I'm doing a slanted line across there. And that just gives it a look like that's a canoe. And it, there's nothing detailed about this. It's just adding in a little bit of light in some areas. So now I'm going to take my detail brush and that dark blue color. I'm going to make sure that I don't have a lot on my brush. Just want the tip to have the blue. And I'm going to create some birds. Now you can be creative in this step, adding the birds wherever you would like smaller or larger or going in different directions. Have fun with your shapes, making them a little bit different. I like to put the smaller birds closer to the horizon line next to the city so it looks like they're in the distance and then they get bigger as they come forward or down your canvas towards the bottom. So that's just a, a depth thing and it's a great way to create the depth that you need in your painting. And if you're not certain what you want to do, you could just use the reference photo to help you or my video. I do make some changes to what I've created here because it's easy to just make changes if you don't like something. So now we're to the final touches, which include your personal preferences. There is no right or wrong here. You don't need to follow every one of my brush strokes. Your painting can look totally different at this point and you may have things that you would like to fix that aren't the same as in my painting. So I'm going to just use what's in my mind that is bugging me and fix those things and add whatever I feel like it needs. So notice how I took off that bird on the pole. I just didn't really like it on there and I didn't get, I didn't put that in the tutorial because there's no need to have that in there since your birds are different. But I am taking that sky color and I'm blending that more with the yellow. And that nice transition there, I like 
a little bit more and um, I used my finger or my brush to just blend the yellow a little bit more with the blue. Anytime you feel like your paint doesn't look finished, a lot of times it just needs some more layers or some softening or blending. Now I'm working on the sky and adding another layer in the sky. So as I'm looking back at my painting, I will notice things that need an additional layer. I also like to add some color in unexpected places. So notice I have some magenta right where I'm putting just a line of white to define the where the canoe sits on the water, but I don't want it to be too strong. So I'm just playing around with some colors and anything I don't like, I can just take right off. So keep working on your painting until you're happy with it. Thank you so much for painting with me. I hope you enjoyed this and you got some time to relax. If you love this video, go ahead and subscribe so you're notified whenever I make a new video. And if you wanna learn more and become a better artist, go ahead and sign up to become a Create Art member where you're gonna get weekly art lessons, the reference photos, and the full tutorials to help you paint along. Create Art members also make it possible to share these videos on YouTube, so I wanna give them a big thanks for that. And you can watch more videos if you like. And happy painting, my friends.